Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me Cooper and today we're gonna dive on into one of the hardest and most exciting missions of the game, Counter Attack. And in this mission I've decided I'm going to bring all my lowest level people to help give them some levels, so let's see. And I'm forced to bring Yugi Bakora. Bakora needs it though, so that's fine. Um, we need to change up our teams. Just looking at this, we need to change up our teams. So, let's go ahead and start putting some stuff together. Looking at you. Give me your, give me your blue medicine. This is a great monster. Is a lie. We're getting rid of it. Um, we're gonna give her a different spirit monster since she likes spirit monsters. So looking at attack points, we have Songa of the Thunder. This is a spirit monster. Although it counts as a walking unit, therefore I'd rather have it on the side. Alright. Well, you know what? She could use a walking unit. That's fine. Yeah. So, even though it looks a little weak, it has stronger stats than the her other girls. And honestly, should be able to do some good work. So, let's give you... Only spirit monsters can wield the spear and make it pierce the darkness. It does heavy damage to dark monsters. Okay, yeah, here you go. That's for a spirit monster. And then you girls, I'm gonna need you girls to have... Power of Nature. This increases the attack, increases the action points of all spirit monsters. So, yeah, I'm going to give them the ability to increase the attack points of everybody. I'm also going to give out a Monster Aborn and a Red Medicine. There we go. Look at that. This looks like a good team and an extra blue medicine because I'm a nice guy. So, Taya's team is done. Looking at Bakora. Uh, looking at Bakora. Alright, let me check out his team. He's got a healer, an increaser, and then there's this guy who just kind of sits there. I'm going to give you back your legendary sword, and you can have Sword of Dragon Soul in case you happen to fight a dragon, which I highly doubt, and you can have a blue medicine, and you're going to gain a monster reborn. Then Tristan's going to come because he's only level 14. Fizdis is level 15. I took away your beast fangs. That's not good. Who would I give your beast fangs to for what mission? Ah, I gave him to Mako. Mako could really use them. His monsters are honestly weak. No offense to his monsters. They, he just he just actually needs these items. Alright, let's see. Nothing else he can wear either. Um, Deal of the Phantom. The talisman protects the monster wearing it with mystical power and gives it the strength to fight. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> that, that does not make any sense. Um... So I'm going to bring Tristan, and Tristan, your items, legendary swords are great. I'm going to leave Gazelle as is, and we're going to give this guy a uh, red medicine. And then, yeah, the teams are looking okay, a little bit better. And, oh yeah, my Valentine, okay, I can make a big change here. My Valentine is going to lose the Curse of Dragon, because that doesn't suit her anyway. And she's going to gain a Harpy Lady. I need to find some Beast Fangs out there in the field. But right now, this is good enough. Harpy's Pet Dragon, Harpy Lady, Summon Skull, Beaver Warrior. Um, Curse of Dragon, I wonder if it's stronger than Beast of Gil for, um, like, attack-wise. Let's see. Curse of Dragon's around here. This is Beast of Gil for. Curse of Dragon is stronger. Okay, Trista, I'm gonna let you... Oh, wait, hold up. That guy's a red medicine. G give me that. Uh, Beast of Gilfer is gonna take a back seat for now, and we're gonna give that to Tristan. And Tristan, you're going to gain a red medicine and a blue medicine, because I said so. Yeah, you don't have a monster aborn, so good luck to you. And then, that looks like everybody I want to bring on this journey. Sucks that I won't have my discount, but it's fine. We'll make this work. So, this is one of the bigger missions, and in the counterattack mission, I will say this. You should not rush it. Go slow and enjoy yourself. This is a good place to get experience, and one of the roaming monsters requires you to go somewhat slow. So do not be afraid to go slow. Here we are. Scott, you may have created this game, but we're changing the rules. There are not many places to fight here, so yeah, that's why I said don't rush it. Your victory is far from assured, Yugi. Shouting at me is not going to help you win this fight. A true genius wins before the battle even begins. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Zooming on out. All forces are coming towards us. What does the traitor have to offer? Nothing that I care about. We're going to send Joey Wheeler after this troop right here. We're going to send uh, Bakora after the bottom troop. We're going to send my Valentine after the middle troop. Just for protection. She's going to need backup. We're going to send Taya Gardner to back her up. 
This is just to start the battle. So, our grand battle shall begin with Scott sending out random soldiers. What does he have? He's got Kaiser Dragon. Hey, that's a fusion. What the hell? Yeah, he's got Paradragon, Kaiser Dragon, Curse of Dragon. Lots of dragons. Now, looking at their... I they don't even have items. This is a freebie. This is literally free. Okay, well, lots of dragons just happen to pop up right now. I did not check on who guarded. That's a mistake of mine. I'm going to let Baby Dragon guard because he's very weak. And we're going to go after Kaiser Dragon, the boss. Yeah. There we go. Curse of Dragon and Paradragon have the same 2,000 attack stack. Kaiser Dragon is a fusion at 2,300. But it does not get the fusion buff in this game because it was not made from Fairy Dragon and Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. We already have Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. We need a Fairy Dragon. Photon Stampede. That's pretty cool. That's a cool attack. No, Baby Dragon. You're just a baby. You can't guard that. Okay, you at least held it back, but yeah, it still broke your guard. Shadow Flame, let's see how much it could do to a- oh, Wait, I'm a, I'm a fire type, why are you doing this? You're an idiot. Okay, that did a lot. <laughs> You're an idiot. Immediately regret saying it, because I took so much damage. Soul Spear. And with the Soul Spear, we're going to do- Oh, he lived with 6 HP, damn it. I might as well kill him, just so he doesn't get that last attack off. Joey Wheeler starting the fight pretty aggressively, but unluckily they live with six. Flame Swordsman takes another big hit. He's getting low on HP and all my and I not I don't have a healer. We're gonna start working on Parry Dragon. It has more HP than Curse of Dragon. I want to bring it down. Cut him in half with your flaming war sword. Yeah, there we go, Joey Wheeler. That's how we do it. One more of those and he's done. Hot tunes, of course. Baby Dragon, I... Yeah, you're gonna need to heal Joey. Alright, Joey's monster is very close to death, but the Flame Sword should finish the battle. Joey wins by a lot. Almost 5,000 points. Alright, Baby Dragon's leveling up, which is very good. It needs to level up faster, to be honest. It's still too baby for me. Its strength must be increased before problems start. All right, we got him into an instant battle, which means my monster is in danger. Flame Swordsman is in danger. Um, we're going to need a heal. And wait, I thought I killed Paradragon. Did the Paradragon survive the attack? Oh, crap, Baby Dragon took too much. It survived with 10 HP. I didn't even notice. No! Flame Swordsman, it's too early to die. I, red medicine, sorry healer, heal flame swordsman. I can't believe it. I didn't think he survived the attack. He must be stopped. Kill him. Yeah. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. Galicia D Knight, kill the other one before he kills baby dragon. Man, it's only the first battle. And we're already taking massive hits. Uh, blue medicine yourself. You don't need that much. You don't have that much HP to begin with. Oh, Baby Dragon's so cute. It's just this tiny little thing. It's adorable. And also, Curse of Dragon's going to be cut down. There we go. 500 damage. Very good. Galicia D Knight, do not be afraid to join in on that damage. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. We, were managed, uh, we managed to take him out. That's good. Joey's leveling up. Very nice. Very nice. We got him to level 16. Baby Dragon's level 14. Very nice. Those heals are actually coming in handy. So Joey is done with his assault. I can leave him for a little break. He gets a break. Everyone else's assaults should begin soon. I'm going to do a little bit, you know, a little bit of money grinding while we do this. Okay. Ooh, this guy just has a freaking... I was going to say Bandit Keith, but there's one thing there that isn't Bandit Keith. Labyrinth Tank is more uh, Paradox Brothers. All right, so we have a problem. The enemies are coming at us with actual interesting stuff. I'm going to use my dark energy to show off. Does it really only buff himself? Damn. Oh, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and check out the enemies. So, any healer... Whoops. I was in attack mode, so I could not do what I wanted. Whoops. All right, well, that's not good. The enemies are extreme tanks, and they do have... A slot Machine's the healer? Damn it, he has 2,800 defense and 1,400 life. Labyrinth Tank is insane. Holy crap, 3,000, 3,000. I might have put uh, Bakora in a little bit of a dire spot. Luckily, our uh, Illusionary Gentleman is busted. 
This spellcaster is not to be messed with. Alright, just waiting. Labyrinth drill is going to hurt like hell. Good, he attacked my healer. Which actually isn't good, but I'd rather he do that. That did a shit ton of damage. No, stop attacking the healer. Hold up. Hold up. I have come to the realization that I might be in a little bit of trouble. These machine-type enemies are very powerful. Alright, looks like you're going to be healing yourself rather than using that dark energy. What a shame. Blue medicine isn't a good heal, though, so... Let's hope for the best. Alright, well, let's continue our work on the tank, because that's the biggest threat. Slot machine is also a huge threat, but... Yeah, that tank, it does actual damage to us. Um, I have so many spectral mists, but I fear, I fear the next one will take him out. So let's start working on uh, the slot machine as well. Spread the damage out, you know? Alright, slot machine. We're going to take you down with a crit. 500 damage, very nice. And again, bullying my neck hunter. Man, give him a break. He's guarding. Okay, he's guarding. Missile launcher. Rocket launcher. And yeah, they're still bullying neck hunter. They could tell who's the weakest member of my team. He's there just for heals. I might have be forced to blue medicine him. Losing one of my attacks is not what I want to do, but screw it. I don't want to lose my healer. Alright, and heal yourself. That dark energy was wasted. I didn't realize my enemies were this high level. Scott's clearly using cheat codes. Just like me. Um, I'm going to attack Labyrinth Tank. Or not Labyrinth Tank, sorry. I'm going to attack Launcher Spider. Oh, no I'm not. I apologize, I'm just going to get unlucky. Which means I am getting closer and closer to a loss. Alright, good. He's not aiming at Neck Hunter. That's good. Let's see who he... Oh, no! He is aiming at Neck Hunter. He's just so big that he had to turn to hit him. And the Labyrinth Drill gets... Stop it. Oh, my God. Stop. Did they kill him? They got close. They got close. Slot Machine still has an attack left. Alright. All my mist is going to go after we wait for them. Let them do their final attack. And then we're going to kill the healer instead. Because I don't want that red medicine to ever come up. Alright, Ansatsu's attacked. He's fine. At least they attacked him. That was nice of the game. Alright, let's get this guy out of here. Bandit Keith's monster should not be used by such poultry creatures. I die! And there we go. That should clean his life up. Okay, one more attack? That's fine. We could do one more attack. Without any healers to protect him, we'll be able to wipe this guy off the map. Still, but Korra having this much trouble, I clearly haven't been using him enough. Neck Hunter is probably the biggest problem, though. I know that. Alright, Sam, one more for good measure. At least this guy has like a million attacks. The Illusionary Gentleman is busted in this game. You capture him at level 30, it's insane. I guess the game does not intend for you to capture him. The game intends for you to lose that fight. Neck Hunter gets a level, Unsatsu gets another attack. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Problem is, I'm about to get uh, into an instant battle, because they're they're a big monster, aren't they? Yep. Okay, so I didn't have time to heal. Labyrinth Tank's still up, which means we could still take a shit ton of damage. Uh, plans, plans. Okay, take out the tank before it becomes a problem. Kill him! We do not want to deal with this tank! Damn it! Okay, good! Ansatsu! Somehow, take out the tank with your knife! Or your sword, or whatever it is. Alright, we got rid of him. Neck Hunter, your entire job is to heal yourself. If they just keep attacking you, and all you have to do is heal yourself, that's actually a good setup. It makes me feel safe. Launcher Spider shall wait for his death. He does not even want to kill. He's not even going to attack us. What a kind guy. God, the 3D models in this game look so good, especially for the machine monsters. Launcher Spider, it makes sense that he's small, because, you know, he's just a freaking spider. We got a crit, very nice. Um... It makes sense that he's small. He's a cool-looking monster. Slot Machine looks so good in this game. And Labyrinth Tank looks solid. They all look exactly as they should. They look just like the cards. Alright, let's see it. Yeah, that's not too good. That's not too good. 220? Yeah, that's no fun. Taking that kind of damage. I'm just going to let him finish this guy off. Alright, there we go. Enemy down. Bakora wins his fight. 
Joey won. It was a little scary. Uh, Bakora won. It was a little scary. Cost a lot of heals. Um, everyone's leveling up. Even the Illusionary Gentleman, which you don't really expect, because, you know, <laughs> he's level 30. So level 31 now. I'm going to need to get him out of the battlefield. Just to fall back. So you took out the side force. Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh sound came off. That means the cheat still went through. All right. My Valentine, you are decently strong, but I don't think I should have sent you in against two enemies alone. That was a, a very big mistake on my part. Granted, you have a ton of attacks. Holy crap. All right, let's see. Biggest threat on their team. Let's say it's the Parrot Dragon this time. How much does Scratch Crusher do? Like 200, hopefully? Ah, I can't even do 200. All right, well, what about this Scratch Crusher? Yeah, you hear those scratches? Those were loud. 270. That's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. All right, this is kind of sucky. 260. Yeah, they're they're stronger. We're clearly going up against stronger enemies. And that's not good. They're focusing my my girl. I don't have a healing item on Harpy's pet dragon. That's a mistake. He should be used for healing. All right, just take out that para dragon before it gets another hot tunes off. Luckily, Harpy's Pet Dragon is good at attacking. 239, very nice. Photon Stampede, thank you. You didn't attack Occupete. I appreciate that. Grant, I don't want any... I want you to attack Harpy's Pet Dragon. That would be my favorite target. Please attack that target, but you're not going to. Another Hot Tunes, damn. Well, if we stop the third one, then we... That was still better than nothing. Yeah, she's getting pretty low on HP. I could be risking her life, but if I kill the Hot Tunes, man, then it might not be a problem. Don't really want to risk one of my harpy ladies lives, but ah, damn it, they got their attacks off too quickly. Never mind. Oh, okay, they didn't target it. Okay, you know what? This is fine. This is fine. Harpy ladies got crit. It's not fine. Help me. Oh crap, she's my only healer. I did not give a red medicine. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm putting my Valentine in extreme danger. Uh oh. I knew I should have gave her more time to train. She's only level 13 for crying out loud. Why didn't I give her healing items on everybody? Why did I turn my brain off when it came to my Valentine? Gotta kill that thing. No hot tunes. No hot tunes. Come on, crit. They got a crit. We get a crit. Come on. Oh, fuck. Yep. That's that's not good. That's that's not good. This is not what we wanted to see happen. She lived? Oh, shit. No! He got the hot tunes before she got another one of her million attacks off. Why did I have to wait so long for an attack? Damn it. All right. We are going to... Oh, this guy's a main enemy. He's got that mask on. He was a boss in the early game. Now he's a regular enemy type. I don't have Monster Born here either. God freaking damn it. All right. Well, given my that I'm at a disadvantage and my Valentine was sent to her death, I'm going to be extremely careful about how I play this. I need to win this fight so that we fight them again so we get bounced backwards rather than forwards. So let's see, am I gonna be able to win? Nope, I missed. I can't win the fight. I needed that to hit I needed that to hit to win. I can't win. Unless I get a crit, I can't win. That was super unlucky. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh wow, that's not good. Oh, wow, that's really, really bad. Healer's down. I'm about to jump right into an extra battle, and I've lost. Oh, well, good for Harpy's Pet Dragon. Ira is the one that needed the experience, and she's dead. Oh, that's really bad. Really, really bad. Don't have time to heal. I do need them to instant battle. Shit. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. I don't have Monster Reborn. Shit. Okay. Harpy ladies, fall back. Um, someone else needs to take over. Mako Tsunami, this is why we brought you. Come take over. Um, we're going to need to build a healer base. Trade... Oh, shit. All right, Mako Tsunami is going to try and make up for my mistake, which sucks. I guess that's why they call him Makeup Tsunami. Now, his monsters aren't much better than uh, my Valentine's, but they're going to be fighting real hard. All right, let's go ahead and start work. You can do this. Come on, guys. Shot you. Yeah. It looked a little gross, but it worked. The fact that it shot two different zones. All right, this is our strongest attack on the team. I don't know why, but that spear's busted. Almost 300 damage. 
basically 300 damage. And Kairushin, he gets like no items, but he can still do good work. Because in this game, he counts as a dragon for some reason. Alright. I guess the Sea Serpent can count as a dragon, that makes sense. Uh, 200 damage, we're tanky. That's one good thing. My monsters are... Our, our Mako's a lot more tanky. He, in fact, his only good stat is HP. That's the only thing he gives to his troops. He doesn't really give attack or freaking attack numbers. He just gives HP. All right, we'll wait out his guard and hopefully kill him. And he guarded again. Yeah, there's no way for us to lose this anyway. Thanks to my Valentine's noble sacrifice. All right, let's go ahead and do a little bit more breath on him. Disgusting. Right, and don't think we're done there. Aqua Breath. That's good. Curse of Dragon suffering. All right, and do it again. Yeah, you deserve this for being a dick. Getting that crit on my freaking Harpy Lady. I don't even remember if it was him, but I'm pretty sure it was him. A crit that cost me a, mon a member. This should be able to kill. Yeah, Mako's stronger than he looks. Good on him. I'm glad he could do... I th I'm glad he could uh, pick up the slack. There we go. He deserves level 15 for that, to be honest, but it's okay. We'll take what we can get. Alright, so far so good, guys. So far so good. A little bit of a mishap, but everything's working out. Uh, just get to the base. Base, I need to build something. Oh, no. I need to build something. It's called a healer. Give me a healer. There we go. And Mako's gonna have to fight the next enemy type. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's another machine one. These guys are extremely tanky and they have a red medicine user. Not a good matchup for Mako. Mako cannot out-tank these monsters. Not even close. But, if we can get rid of their healer, whoever comes next can probably take them out. Alright, just get their healer down to, like, I don't know, 900, 800 HP. That'll do. And we'll take out their healer from there. We just gotta keep ourselves alive. Well, that sucks. Alright, Octoburser takes a hit. Kairushin, let's see. We can't hit Slot Machine anymore, so why don't you aim at that guy? Ignore the police, they won't find me. If you could hear them in the background. Alright, let's see. 230, okay, very good. Labyrinth Drill, this is the one attack we're worried about. Let's see how well our boss takes it. Hmm, 300 damage. He took it okay. Better than the Harpy Ladies, but uh, well, better than Harpy Ladies would have taken it. But not a good position to be in still. Octoburser's getting way too low. I do have a healing item on him, but he's not the one I want to see heal. He's getting way too low, though. Shit. Spend a turn guarding, and you spend a turn healing him. If I want to take out their healer, I need to have enough attacks left over. And sadly, Octoburst's attacks are the most important. Kairushin has blue medicine as well. Nice. Can heal himself. I, I need four attacks exactly to kill that slot machine. We won't win the battle, but it's to win the war. Labyrinth tank, Octoburst is guarding. He broke guard easily. He got a crit to break my guard, damn it. Missile launcher, crits are really big. You know what, it's Scott, of course he'd be cheating. It makes sense, right? 100%. 200 damage, I'm already too low again. Well, they have two attacks left, that would kill me. Whose attack is less needed? Kairu Shins, technically. Let's see if they even aim at him. Okay, good. Okay, thank God. I don't need to heal. As long as they don't get a crit again, we're fine. Um, slot Machine is now the target. We need to kill him. If everybody hits, we kill the healer. Alright. This battle's been going a little, little bit rough. You know, Scott. the fight with Scott's supposed to be tough, but this has been rough. Uh, Labyrinth take goes for Kairu Shin, so I'm fine. I'm fine. They only attacked my tougher troops. They left my, my Octo Burser alone. And now we can finish off this slot machine. I hope. If we don't and he gets a red medicine off, we're in so much trouble. 
All right, there we go. Slot machine, taste my spear. And final spear. Come on, win us this battle. And let's see if it can do it. 3,000. We win. Okay, with the kill, we win. And Mako, he's at 4 HP, 2 attack, 2 extra attacks. Oh, or 2 star chips, who cares? 4 HP means our monsters are getting super tanky. That is great. That's one really good thing about Mako. And his big body got in the way, damn it. Alright, which means we didn't have time to heal Octoburser. Which means Octoburser has to waste a damaging turn to heal. Because we can't lose him. We, can, we literally can. He's our most important. All right, Kyrushin. Ah, he has four attacks now. That feels so good to see that. All right, let's start working on that tank. Aqua Breath. Yeah, having four attacks on Kyrushin feels real nice. Fiend Kraken, why can't you be more like your big brother Kyrushin? I don't care if you do more damage. At least he's, like, helping. Critical hit. Never mind, I apologize. You're great. And they really love that Octoburster. They're just not going to leave him alone. Alright, 600 HP is doable. It's becoming less doable. With each attack, it's becoming very, very less doable. Um, yes, you spend your turn healing your brother. Help your ugly sea brother. That has That's a terrible monster in the real game because it's level 5. With 1600 attack, and it's a normal monster. Or is it 1650 attack? No matter what it is, it's below, like, 2k. And even back in the day, you need at least, like, 2k to be considered a good monster. For a 5-star, at least. like Or 6-star, or, or like Sword Stalker. Or Curse of Dragon. And I know even back in the day, those cards weren't good, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, in Duelist Kingdom terms, that's good. Alright, Dynasty Series, it's good. And the tank is going after Fiend Kraken, which, honestly, it's about time they start attacking him. Leave, leave everyone else alone. The Kraken's there to be attacked. Why are you attacking the other ones? Should have saved that spear for the t uh, Labyrinth guy. Or the Launcher Spider. Whatever. We, he has 1,500 HP. We can't take him. But Mako is doing great work in this team. Honestly, he's keeping the team together. Everyone's battles have gone from bad to okay. We haven't had a good fight yet. And honestly, I think Mako's the closest to us having a good fight. Still took a lot of heals, though. And this is going to be a longer battle because I need to stay on the field a long time for the newer monsters to show up. I mean, for the roaming monster to show up. And trust me, you're going to want the roaming monster. So do not, don't you dare not um, stick around. Okay, we easily can win the mission now, but now we still have to fight him again. I'm glad Mako's getting levels though. Look at that. Everyone's getting strong. Don't you worry, Mako. You're going to take out this machine guy, and then everything's going to be all right. Here's some blue medicine to make you feel better. And I got that medicine off just in time. All right. Final attacks. Let's get rid of this guy. Did he just dodge that? You did not. Okay, good. And Poseidon's spear. This spear is so good. I don't know why they made Octoburser good in this game, but he's just good. I just wish they made more water areas. I don't know why there's, like, barely any water on maps. Sometimes you'll see a river, but you'll never see, like, a lake or anything. Well, you will, but it's it's rare. It's, like, super rare. All right, Mako, good work. Go ahead and go back to healing. Everyone has won their battles. That's the good news. The bad news is they took more damage than they... Oh, shit. I wasted that medicine. They took more damage than they should have. All right, let's go check on our base to see how everyone's doing. Go to healing. Cost a thousand. Holy shit. All right, time to do a little bit more of the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Yep. All right, everyone go back to heal. We need to save up on medicines. Yeah, I can heal. Um, Taya has left the base now. Good, good. Now that Taya has left the base, speed li uh, speeds life point recovery of monsters in castles and towns. Oh, that's very nice of her. So she could heal everyone faster by staying in town. Then the person who's going to leave is Yugi. 
Songa moves really slow. I should have just let her have one of her flying monsters. Everyone fall back to Taya's heals. So her ability of healing is going to come in handy. Yugi, you're going to hold middle map because you're our best character. Everyone else, we just have to wait. So looking at Scott, he's not the scariest guy in the world, obviously. But we can't take this battle lightly. We just have to wait for the roaming monsters. Hmm. We should be able to take one of these towns, though. That's a that's just a town. This is a castle. That guy has that, and that guy has that. Same enemy types, but different level of stage. And we found her, everybody. I'm sorry I'm late, but I'm here now. Late indeed. Do you have any idea how long it's been since I sent for you? My sincerest apologies, Master. It took me some time and to get around the Imperial Army. And I... I don't want excuses. I expect more from my students. Who is this? Yugi, thank you for looking out for my teacher. I am his number one student. Be quiet. Yugi, this is my student. I have called her back from her training. She is still at experience, but she may be of use. Please add her to your roster somewhere near the bottom. Wow, somewhere near the bottom. That's nice. Near the bottom indeed. That's no way to build up a girl. Yeah, seriously. All right, so Dark Magician Girl has joined the army, which is really good. Yugi, you're going to... Now that we have her, I don't even care. I can just win the story. Oh, we can just win now. Um, My Valentine needs levels, so we're going to send her out. I don't know why I'm sending her towards the scarier base. That's probably a bad idea. She doesn't even have any heals. Eh, screw it. She's going that way. And I'm going to send out... I don't know who's our lowest level. I mean, Taya's new, so maybe I'll send her out now. And I'll send out... Everyone's basically already fully healed thanks to Taya. Holy crap. We'll send out Joey over here just to see everyone's levels. We'll send out Mako over here. And Yugi, are you getting closer? Yugi, I want you to be, like, right up there, if that's okay. My Valentine, did you stop moving? Yeah, she's so fast. Go over here. I'll decide when I'm ready to attack that base. Taya's on the move. Okay, let's see. Level 16. Level 15. Level... Let's see what else. Level 15. Okay, still level 15. What about you, Tristan? Level 14. All right, Tristan needs some action. We're going to send you to help out my Valentine. And Yugi, you're almost there. Perfect. And now, Taya, I'm going to let you attack the base. Mako's your support. Uh, Simon, I'm we're good. We're good. You can go back to base. And Bakora's fine. Ooh, they have a Flame Cerberus. That's really cool. I like that monster. It's a cool card. All right. So, Neck Hunter, Gazelle, Flame Cerberus. Neck Hunter has a lot. Gazelle's their only healer. So, let's go ahead and try out that Power of Nature card, see if it buffs the enemy. Alright, it worked on Flame Cerberus, that might have been a mistake. Buffing their boss monster is definitely a mistake. I didn't think it'd be a spirit monster. It's a spirit monster, wow. Level 17 at that, I gotta work on him. Alright, let's see how much damage we can do now. Dark Witch, go! Okay, apparently zero. We could do zero damage. Good, good. Glad I learned this. Leopard Claw, good. He wasted one of his turns that could have been used for healing. And this is the attack I'm worried about because I accidentally buffed this guy. And he went straight for my boss like a dick. All right, Taya. Songa took the hit decently well. Not really. Um, let's go ahead and start working on Flame Cerberus. Let's see how much you can do. <laughs> yeah, that's really good damage. All right. Um... You have a red medicine. Yeah, use your red medicine. We need to heal up. That is pretty good. Once Gazelle is out of attacks, then they have no heals. Which means we can now kill off that freaking Cerberus card. And once he's dead, we can power up nature for free. Alright. There we go. Another 300 damage. I love that we do 300. He's guarding. Alright, fine. I'll work on your healer then. I don't care. I know it's going to take more than two battles to take over this territory. And hunting slice, taking, taking out my wings, are we? You dick. He's still guarding, so I'll wait. I'm going to wait him out. Once he's, uh, once he's dead, we can power of nature again. And again, my dark witch is forced to take a hit she shouldn't have to take. Damn it. Sanga, take this guy out. Get a crit. Come on. You're one of the pieces of the Gate Guardian. And back in the day, your card was super broken for some reason. Your effect is, like, dumb. People have to kill you by spell and trap, basically. Or monster effect. 
They're not going to be able to kill you any other way. All right. Thank you, Windows Defender, for the annoying beep. No one appreciates that. All right. Let's go ahead and do another Power of Nature, because I have two characters that have it. There we go. And look, Sangha can attack randomly. It's like he was out of attacks. No, he's not. No, he's not. All right. And everything's free now. Actually, we can just win. I was wrong. We're going to win this fight. All right. 400. Very good. And we're going to need more than that. Yeah, just keep it up. I'm thinking if I use another power of nature. I might as well. I'm just curious if I'm even going to need it. I don't think so. Okay. If I'm not going to need it, I'm not going to use it. These girls are strong enough. All these buffs. A crit. Yeah, no, it's unnecessary. Spirit monsters can be busted with power of nature. You just got to make sure your opponent doesn't run them. And so far, so good. All right. Great job, Taya. We took out the enemy. Sangha can get some levels because they are not leveled up. Level four and five immediately. Love it. I absolutely love that. Taya's already level five. All right. And we took over a territory. Very nice. So while Bakora's walking his slow ass over there, let's get Joey out of the way. He's going to back up Yugs. Uh, we're going to have Taya... Or, sorry, not Taya. We're going to have um, my Valentine, who's only level 13, get an attack off on this guy. I was should... Oh, it's the same guy, just a stronger base, because it's a castle rather than planes. All right, so let's see. Or it's a town. Same thing, honestly. We know that the healer is that, red, uh, that blue medicine guy. Um... Let's just go ahead and start getting some attacks off on him. He only gets two heals anyway. If anything, Scott's troops are a lot stronger than the people he left to guard his castles. Hopefully that doesn't knock him below half. Oh, wait a minute. That's pretty close. And Hunter Slice. Are they going to bully... Please bully Harpy's Pet Dragon. Ah, oh, it was too much. Damn. That's a mistake. Although it's only 300 heal, right? Yeah, we could do that. That's fine. I mean, we're not happy about that heal, but we can live with it. Um, go ahead and start doing damage to Flame Cerberus. It's going to take some time to kill that thing. All right. Very good. Critical hit. Yes. That is exactly what we're looking for. Ah, you got your own fire attack. Stop bullying my weakest Harvey Lay that lost experience and I had to spend $1,000 on. Oh my gosh. This game is so douchey. How could they? Um, if I attack him again, they're going to heal him. All right, I'd rather have them heal than attack my Harpy Lady, though, so... Screw it. And you, I'm forced to guard, because these guys are dicks. Oh, he's guarding. And Leopard Claw, let's see. Oh, now you'll attack my Pet Dragon, the attack I want... Or the person I wanted you to attack. And Pet Dragon, you did great work, so let's go ahead and clean up this uh, other gazelle. Or this healer of theirs. No one wants to deal with them. All right, Gazelle's taking heavy damage. That Abyss Fire is going to suck, but at least they stopped aiming at my Harpy Lady. Pet Dragon is exactly the target I want them to hit, because Pet Dragon can take hits all day. Hunting Slice. Now you're going to try and break my guard. What? Did my guard run out, or did they break it? They broke it. Damn it. Harpy Ladies have 1,400 defense. How could you break that? It's too big. Well, only one more Hunting Slice. Let's imagine they're not going to get a crit. If they get a crit, I'll be so pissed. But now that we survive till the end of the turn, uh, till the end of the fight, we have a million attacks to get off. That's the strength of my Valentine. Her monsters may die, die a little easy, but damn, do they have a lot of attacks, and damn, do they do a lot of damage. Now, let's see. You just finish off Gazelle. It's fine. You don't want them to have a healer. Yeah. Sorry, Gazelle. You will not be mid. Whoa! 5 HP clutch, are we? Okay. It's a little bit of a jerk move. I'll let my weaker Harpy Lady attack you. Get him. Get some experience. I can't believe that man just got that freaking beast just clutched it. Hunting Slice. Okay, fine with me. Perfect. Now we could start getting to work. Uh, you could probably finish off Flame Cerberus. They have an okay defense stat, but you know. Not that that matters, but you know they, they're not they're not problematic. Hunting monster, die! 
Critical hit, heck yeah! We can't win, but we can at least knock him down a notch. All right, that makes me feel a lot more confident. My Valentine, you're doing better than I thought. All right, Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady, and Harpy's Pet Dragon. Yeah, everyone gets experience, leveling up. My Valentine is the only one who isn't. I need to level her up. Therefore, Tristan's experience will be denied. He shall stay level 14. All right, blue medicine up, please. There we go. Everyone else too, if you can. Okay. I always bet Dragon can take hits. The Marshal shall die. All right. He's got like no life points left and I have a million attacks to show off. So let's show off. 246. And are we gonna get the Giga Saint Fire before he gets an attack off? Can I keep these heals? 188, and no. At least attack the dragon. Okay, thank you. I really don't mind. The dragon takes hits like a champ. All right. Giga Saint Fire. I wish there was an ability on the dragon where, like, if it was just next to Harpy Ladies, it automatically is stronger. Like a passive ability or something. I don't know. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Hey, level 14 on my Valentine. We desperately needed that. Well, now that we've done this, Scott, you're our next target. There we go. Any uh, traders? Oh, there is a trader. All right, what do we got? Beast Fangs! Oh my god, we've been needing these the entire Let's Play. I'm not even joking. These have been extremely needed. Thank you. I see Gazelle in the background. Give me your fangs. No, give me more swords while I'm at. I don't give a shit. Give me everything. Give me everything. All right, we bought it all. Uh, Yugi, you're next to the boss, right? Go to work. Start working on Scott. Let's see what he, what kind of team he's running. All right, Scott's team has... What's the matter, Scott? Things aren't working out as you planned? Fabulous, just fabulous. I didn't think I'd have to participate at all. It appears I was wrong. Yeah, your crits don't matter. Uh-oh. Let me share something with you. The human mind is a lot more fragile than you might think. You'd be surprised how few people have clear and unwavering idea of self. The only right, uh, the only thing trying to uh, you wait, the only thing tying you, sorry, not trying, tying you to this world right now is your mind. And luckily for me, I can control anything here. So it's time to control your mind. Joey, Taya, Bakura, and he's not joking. Oh no, it's an ambush. They're cutting off our escape routes. We'll be completely wiped out. Quickly, give the order to retreat. No, Lord Yugi. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. We have lost three of our best troops. And no, we're not joking. You straight up lose Taya. You lose Joey and you lose Bakora. I believe Scott plans to control Joey and the others to pit them against us. We must prepare ourselves for the worst. And that's the mission, everybody. We gained a Dark Magician Girl and we lost nine troops. My heart is broken. After suffering heavy damage at the hand of Scott again, the Resistance splits up to lose their pursuers. Even Yugi has gone into hiding in order to escape Scott's forces. Showing absolutely no mercy, Scott hatches his next plot to force Yugi into the open. Scott dispatches Taya, still under his mind control, with an army of her own. On the edge of the beastly Badlands, she prepares to perform a forbidden magic spell that will destroy the world. And in this magic ritual, Taya must offer herself as tribute. Hearing this, and fully aware that this is a trap set by Scott, Yugi and friends set off to save Taya. Taya is in real life danger. We've lost Joey, Bakora, and Taya, and Taya's about to die. So, next mission, we're going to be diving in to save Taya. See you all then. <laughs>